What's up everybody? This is Jeff Mosini, the founder and creator of Slopegrade. And in this short tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to find your preferred speed preference on the green. So here we have about a 12 foot putt with a bunch of tees set up. And in a minute, I'll just go through what each of these tees mean. So we're going to open the Slopegrade app and get into about a slow percentage mode. And I'm just gonna go through my process here. And I got this about one and a half percent, just to confirm it. Okay, so now we have a 12 foot putt here set here. So if, if you haven't, you can just long press and enter it like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Imperial measurement mode with two taps. And then we're going to place a T for each of the speed preference marks. So this is going to be about 10 inches from the right edge. So that's preferring if you want to die putts in the hole where they don't go past. So now we're going to go up and place a tee at eight inches from the right edge. That represents six inches past. And then we're going to place one at seven inches for one foot past the hole, six inches for one and a half feet past, and then another tee behind it for two feet past, and so on and so forth. That's two and a half. And then that's three feet past, which is very aggressive. So I've also placed two tees here for my speed barometers here. So I'm gonna go back to dying a putt in the hole and look at the one second roll distance value. So from my putt here, I've placed a tee six feet in front of me. Now what that tee means is this putt, if I'm going to die in the hole, needs to be at this spot after one second of rolling in order to have a putt break in and barely go past the front edge of the cup and fall in. And then you're gonna do the same thing here for six inches, one foot, one and a half feet, two feet, two and a half and three feet. So I've only placed one tee here since seven feet after one second is acceptable for the rest of these speed preferences. So now what I'm going to go through is have about three balls. You can have more or less if you want. And we're just going to hit some putts at each of these tees. So I'm going to go down and get lined up at that orange tee, 10 inches outside. And I'm going to really focus on just having the ball roll six feet after one second, maybe a little bit more. And we're going to try to die this putt in a hole. So as you can see, I hit that a little bit too firm and it rolled six inches past. It would have been good at the green tee, which we're going to play at now. So you'll know right away which feels good to you and which doesn't. So I'm just going to go through each of these putts. And now we're going to play seven feet after one second, maybe in between that range right there. Might have hit that a little too firm, so we'll try that one again. Got a little gust of wind too. So we'll get ourselves lined up at that green tee. Very good. And then we'll try again. 1,000. So that felt okay. That was pretty good. So now we're going to go to the one foot pass, which is my personal preference. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go through each one. So now we're aiming at that white tee on the right, which is about seven inches outside of right edge. Like I said, that feels bread and butter to me. So now this is 18 inches past or one and a half feet past. We're going at that second orange tee from the right. So now we're getting a little bit more pace and a lot less break. All very good putts. So well, we got three more. So this is going to be two feet, two and a half feet past, three feet past. And you'll find out right away that hauling these putts with this kind of speed from here is very difficult to do, especially when you're a little bit downhill like I am. So we're gonna play at that white tee in the back, so just left of that orange tee. 
and really give this some pace. So it's easy to run those putts by, so that's about three feet past. But for the same as we were gonna put the last two at the green tees on the left. So now we're getting more aggressive and playing less break. Pretty good, gust wind got it. So now we're gonna go at that last tee. It's just going to be at that seven foot mark after one second, more or less. So like I said, you're gonna find that you're gonna have to favor one speed preference over the other. For me, it's one foot past to six inches past. So I really like that because I like to play a lot of break. So this video will help you figure out what speed preference to pick so that you can play your best golf out on the course. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please feel free to contact us at info at slopegrade.com or comment on this video on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed on our YouTube channel for more tips and tricks on using Slopegrade. And please follow us on our social media channels at Instagram and Facebook at Slopegrade.